Hi everyone. I look for a lot of the different secrets and mysteries from all around the world. Looking for the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, the Son of God, who was risen from the dead and took all the sins of the world away. Now the world elite, the Illuminati, the Freemasons, and even the spiritual realms that are all around us, they leave their signs and secrets right in front of us in symbolism. And on our channel, we bring all this back to the Word of God and show how we're nearing the end of days. Well, happy holidays, everyone. Today we're going to take a look at the wicked tenets in the Bible and show how part of these are connected all the way to the Crown Prince Muhammad bin Salman, who has been caught in mafia-style murders now in Saudi Arabia, as well as with Prince William, from Britain. These are all part of the actual wicked tenets of the Bible. In the Bible there is a parable from Jesus that God has come and built the earth and he made a vineyard and then he left some people in charge of the vineyard and he went away and then he sent his prophets and his saints to come get the fruit and the wicked tenets beat them and then when he sent his son, Jesus, they killed him. The fallen angels. They're called the wicked tenants in the Bible. These things are like witches and witchcraft. They, they're the devil. They just change things around. You see how wicked tenants? Ten. Ten ants. Ten ants. They use that name an awful lot. The ten ants. It's in the Bible. Jesus will fight the woman on the beast, the beast from the bottomless pit, and ten horns, which thou sawest are ten kings, which have received no kingdom as yet, but received power as kings one hour with the beast. These have one mind, and shall give their power and strength unto the beast. The same thing that is controlling a Prince William is the same thing controlling a Mohammed bin Salman, the same thing controlling the Pope, the same thing controlling the president of the USA, whoever it is, Vladimir Putin, China, they are all working for the many-headed beast system, the dragon, having seven heads and ten horns. These are some of the horns of Satan. Right there. We're going to prove that today. And that means they're going to fight Jesus Christ. In the end, Jesus destroys the wicked tenants. Heaven is my throne. Rejoice with Jerusalem, God's final judgment against the wicked, the wicked tenants. For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind, to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. For by fire and by a sword will the Lord plead with all flesh, and the slain of the Lord shall be many. These things play out all around us. It played out in a recent Transformer movie, Mark Wahlberg. They like to use the name Mark many times for the Jesus Christ character because it represents the A-R-K, the Ark of Jesus' Testament. And the second book in the Bible is Mark. Here in Transformers Age of Extinction, he comes with his sword and he defeats the beast and the false prophet from the pit. It's even shown in here with the beast rising from the pit. So these signs are all around us. Today we're going to go down to part of Britain and England. It's actually going to map out and show Prince William as one of those ten horns. It's undeniable. We have not found any evidence for Harry yet. Harry of the Prince Harry, but Prince William is surrounded by evil influences. Surrounded. Built, made, and born to play an evil role. Even his mother was killed in a sacrificial manner. It was just all the symbolism of him is pure evil, just as with Ben Salman. Notice the connection. If you know your, your Bible, you will know the tribe of Benjamin. The tribe of Benjamin is in a lot of trouble in the Bible, extreme trouble. That's why also in England you have the Big Ben clock. It comes back to the tribe of Benjamin. 
who were known for raping and pillaging and they were in extreme amount of trouble with God. So you hear the mourning of the tribe of Benjamin. It comes back to Sodom and Gomorrah and rape and pillaging and murder associated with Ben, Benjamin, Ben, Benjamin, Big Ben Clock. Why does Donald Trump say make America great again? Great Britain. It's all in there with these ten kings. These ten princes that aren't kings yet. Remember what you're fighting. Ten horns, which I saw are ten kings, which have received no kingdom as of yet. Well, these things are mapped out all around us. And talks of in the Bible of people like myself and millions and billions of others waking up at the end times to show signs in the heavens and the earth. This is Great Britain. We're going to go down near a place actually called Mark. See Mark? Representing Jesus' ark. Mark. It's actually going to all be mapped out. Comes back to the fallen angels and the good angels. See the Mark Causeway? Mark, the white horse, to defeat the beast and the false prophet and all of them. Jesus, rejoicing in heaven, the marriage of the lamb, the white horse, the defeat of the beast and the false prophet and the beast from the bottomless pit and all of the ten kings, their defeat. Right here by this town of Mark, Mark, the white horse. Do you see North Wick for the wicked tenants? The beast will have as the feet of a bear. Right here is the big bear. Do you see Pit? Pitland, the beast from the pit. The beast from the pit will have the feet of a bear. Seven heads and ten horns and the feet of a bear and the body of a leopard and the mouth of a lion. Here's the bear with the pit. Right with the pit, the beast from the pit. And then you will see an elephant. This could be your Donald Trump, one of the many heads of the beast. And now all the way down, and look what they're going after. They're going after the Ark of Jesus' Testament, which is talked of in the Bible. That the great red dragon, remember the red of Britain, and the ten horns, do you see the wicked tenants? And do you see the horn of the dragon? going after the Ark of Jesus Christ. And they're all going after the Ark. Your rapture. Your escape. Your heaven. Our God and our Lord. See them all going right after it and they're going after the white horse. There's the wicked. There's the beast from the pit with many heads and the ten horns. And now it will even say, watch how God has everything done always, the human is William. Pure evil incarnate, created, made, manufactured in every way. If you study the way that he was created and born, it was almost like a science experiment. They even forced delivered him on, a, on an eclipse to make sure he was born on an eclipse. Which means the darkening of the sun. Which means darkness. The same thing here. Another one of the ten horns. Who is a murdering mafia style trillionaire practically. See all the money in these guys? See all the money involved? Obama was part of this also. 
Obama was one of these ten horns that received his hour as president. Now Donald Trump's getting his time. George Bush had his time. Vladimir Putin, the guy in China, the Pope. They're all getting their one hour or so with the beast. And you see that they're all going after the white horse, the Ark of Jesus Christ. This is what they want to stop. And the temple of God was opened in heaven, and there were seen in his temple the ark of his testament. And there were lightnings and voices and thunderings and an earthquake and great hail. Put an M in front of that. Mark. The ark. The ark. The same things even shown in your movies. Not all movies are right. They've been changing movies lately to also. The beast has begun to change a lot of the symbolism in the movies. It, Satan knows that everybody's waking up. All of the people breaking down movies and everything. For the last three years or so, the movies have been being changed. The best way to find any of the information is, is in the older movies, about this time. This is almost 2012 or so. Six, seven years ago. But in the last couple of years, Satan has been changing things and trying to trick all of the people breaking things down on YouTube. It's part of war. It, it's a natural progression. People are starting to break things down. Now he will bring his trickery. So when you break these things down, look at the older movies and see if it's been changed. A good way to see that is with Star Wars. These practically go by the Bible. You have the darkness, the beast, and then you have your new hope. Your new hope. Mark Hamill. The Ark again. Luke Skywalker. Your Jesus Christ character meant for the new hope. The new world. And then you have the woman on the moon fighting the beast. They have changed this now. This is the same story. It's not the next one in, in the thing. It's the same story. They changed it. Now they made the woman the head, the woman riding the beast. They had the Antichrist win, and they got rid of Mark Hamill. He, he's gone. He's out of here. Do you see? In this movie, Darth Vader wins. They changed it. So in the new ones, they're writing it so the darkness wins, or the woman wins, but not Jesus. Why would they want a woman from England to win? The woman on the beast. And the beast from the pit. So see how they've changed the movies? In this movie, Jesus wins. And the darkness is defeated. In this movie, the darkness wins. The woman becomes the leader. And Jesus is gone. They have changed the movies in the last couple of years. Their Satan is catching on. Now he's tricking everyone that is breaking down these movies. We have to all get smarter. It's part of the natural progress of war. He's attacking all of us. Confess with your mouth the Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart God hath risen him from the dead, and you'll be saved. Hallelujah. There is a direct sign right there that Prince William is one of the horns, one of the ten kings, that will fight Jesus Christ. That is an enemy of God, as well as this man. Thank you very much, everybody. I'll see you at the wedding feast of the Lamb. And may God have mercy on us all. Keep remembering, they've changed the movies now. Now they're making it so the woman and the beast from the pit are winning. So you can see they are trying to change times and laws. That's what it's talked of in the Bible. The beast is trying to wear out the saints of the Most High and think to change times and laws. He's changing everything. Think to change times and laws. That's what's going on. Thank you very much, everybody. I'll see you at the wedding feast of the Lamb. There is Prince William busted as one of the ten horns working with Satan. God have mercy on us all.